Hi there, this is Veronica. Today I'll be making a no so handbag. And this bag is going to be simple and easy to construct. However, it will still be sturdy and structured. So let's start with the design. So I decided to design this to have a handle and use the part that we make the handle into a closure part. And I also designed this to be using just one piece of leather in order to have a full coverage so there will be no hole inside the bag. For me, the most important part of a no sew bag is the structure. So you don't just replacing stitches with rivets. You actually try to make it out of the least amount of leather and also least amount of rivets that provides a full support. And the other detail including the overlaps at the corners and how easy it is to install the rivets. And based on that, I made a prototype. So this prototype is going to give me an idea of how I want the bags to look like. And this prototype is going to help me to refine the bag design. So here I made a few adjustments on the prototype. I'm going to reshape the bag into a bigger curve line. And there are also too many overlaps, which is going to make it difficult for rivets. So we're also adjusting that. And there we have our patterns. And these are the patterns that you would download. Turn the patterns into templates. Then we're going to punch all the holes on the patterns and also cut all the parts according to the template. The leather I'm using is chrome tan leather and these are on the thinner side because I want it to be easier to install the rivets. Cut the leather out according to the template.
Then I'm going to finish all the edges. Fold the half circle at the handle part towards inward. And here I have a roller to flatten it out. And then I found out the handle was too thin for my liking, so I decided to add another piece of the same leather on the back. To do so, I cut the handle part from the template. And use that to cut a piece of leather to glue on the back of the handle. So as I mentioned earlier, if you use thinner leather, it will be easier to install the rivets. However, the handle will be thinner. Now you might need to do the same thing I did here. But if you use a thicker leather, you, you won't have the problem of have the handle too thin. And but it will also be more difficult to install the rivets. And also you might need to make sure you have the rivets and snaps that has long enough of the tongue. So here I simply glue another piece of leather on the back of the handle, then trim off all the excess. And I'll finish the edge of that as well. Moving on, we're going to punch all the holes according to the template. Now we have all the holes punched, we are first going to install the back feet.
Now all the back feet are installed who are going to attach the snaps on. If you noticed earlier that one side of the closure part we punch two holes on the circles and the other side only has one single hole. So you will install the female part of the snap on the one with two holes. And the snap and this part of the snap is going to go through two pieces of leather. And the other part will only go through the flap of the leather. And the snaps are going to be closed up like this. And because the other part of the snap only go through one side of the leather, I want to attach the flap to the back. Normally I would just sew it up, but here I'm actually going to use two rivets instead. Because the closure snaps is something that you will use most frequently, so gluing at least part will be not as effective. And this added part of the rivet hose will also be updated to the patterns that you will download. Now the snaps close up better. We're going to assemble the bags now. To start, we're starting from the bottom. The leather on each of the front side will be fold onto the side. Then we will install all four corners first. Then we will move on on the second row. The second row, it will go through three layers of leather. At the top two rows, I was deciding if I want to add this additional piece for decoration.
but I decided not to. So we're going to install the rivets directly on and this will go through two layers of leather. Here we go, the bag is complete. This is rather easy to build and I think it looks beautiful. It's large enough to carry all your essentials. If you just want to make an easy and quick leather project, I believe that this bag is for you. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>